All right, so we just got back to Orange Reservoir I'm here with my buddy Adrian again. What up, guys? Um, we're gonna start throwing off. We're gonna start off throwing crankbaits and uh, see if we have any luck. Yo! Keep it, keep moving, and towards towards the wall. That's the first one. I was just telling my buddy not to stay in one spot and fish. It's just to give it a few casts, fan casts, and uh, just keep it moving. Need my pliers for this one. He took it, he took, he took it right here at the wall. Really? Right here at the wall. Nice. Sweet. I'm just using this uh, KB, I believe it is. Hollow body or soft body. Let's keep fishing. <laughs> what? Yeah, I just lost my pliers running. Just dropped my pliers running for this. Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me see. That's a white perch. Thanks, man. We got a dropper. Watch yourself. All right. You got to be careful picking them up. All right, let me. Oh, no. I'm still there. Just push them in the water. He's gone. For a minute, I thought you had a bass. <laughs> All right, we're white perch. All right, you get a bass. I went running, thought he had a bass. I dropped my pliers. Oh, that's a start. I had a white perch. <sighs> Should we keep moving up? Yeah. I'll be right ahead of you. <laughs> Got one. Oh, I lost them. Never mind. I lost them. Oh, that was my first loss of the day. That was a small one, though. He jumped up, shook it off. My friend Adrian never tried a bait cast, so I'm gonna let him try on mine. Well, I'll try to cast on mine. So what you do is push down, hold your finger. Two hands, one hand down here. And then on the release. Right here, you let your finger go, so. All right, that's good. Yeah, you see that? Oh, fuck. So as soon as that hits the water, you have to click it. You have to stop it because then It'll, that happens. Oh, it fuck. backlashes. You don't want it. So as soon as you see it hit the water, you put your finger on it or you click it. Okay. It's best put your finger on it. Stop okay. it. Stop it from rolling. All right, so try that again. Sheesh. 
Stop it. Oh, that feels so good. How does it feel? I love it. I'm getting it. I'm definitely ordering that. Let's try. Stop it. So there you go. Oh, you're, you're feeling it hit the rocks. And that's what you want to do with crankbaits. You want to hit, you want to feel it hit the rocks because that, that just causes a reaction strike. Bass see that and hear that hitting the rocks and they go for it. One, two, three. That's how you get the strike. That's why I was telling you. Reel it faster so you can feel the rocks. Do you feel it? Banging off the rocks, that's what you want. Yeah, I can't believe you still haven't had a bird's nest yet. You think that's pretty impressive. It's like you've been fishing with one. Cause it took me it took me a minute. Thanks all the YouTube videos. That too. YouTube videos do help. Thanks to YouTube. Oh damn, I see you with a bait caster. Definitely. And that's that that also depends on the length of the rod too. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so while my friend practice with my uh, practices with with my bait caster, I'm gonna be here with the spinning combo and, and use this Kai Tech. See if I have any luck. That's a nice ice crappie, man. Crappie. That just made yo. That just made me hungry. Apparently, they're, they're delicious. <laughs> yo, that's a real. Watch the trebles. Grab it tight. Yep. Yeah, once you put your finger in there, grab it tight because you don't want to get hooked. Watch some hooks. Tight. For the release, all right, let him go. Nice. Good shot. 